up, everybody? Mr. Slipcover Bullet Blake here. I have my Cauldron unboxing for today. Uh, I've been waiting for quite a while to get this package. I feel like it's been a long time since I've done a Cauldron unboxing, so the end of the year is pretty busy for me, but here we go. All right, and first up, we have Convoy Busters. I mean, this this movie looks really fucking good, to be honest. These are these are right up my alley as far as movies go. Um, packaging's great, as always, from Severin. Really excited to watch this. I'll probably watch it later today. Um, let's just open it up. Really great, great packaging as always with the side slip. I just, I love what Cauldron does. I love their packaging. I, I like a lot of their releases. I'm not going to say they have the best releases out of all the boutique labels, but it's definitely one of my top favorite boutiques. So, really, really excited. And, and like I said, this one's just exactly my kind of movie, so... Get a little show card in there. Those are, I think, just different titles. Yeah, it's just the other artwork. And this is pretty cool, actually. If I can unfold it. Look at that. Truckloads of explosive action. Really, actually, that's a really cool poster, honestly. On the back side, you got the original language poster, but this one is way, way cooler. Um, I don't know if I'll frame it. Obviously, like, room becomes an issue, but still, like, that's really cool that they got the poster in there, the reverse cover art. is like more of the poster style. I'm actually going to switch it because the other one's just the same as the slip anyway. But there you have Convoy Busters. I'm actually really, really, really excited to check this one out. So, And the other one is a movie that I actually know and I'm quite familiar with actually. So, the Shanghai Joe, the Fighting Fists of Shanghai Joe. Uh, I believe Wild East put this out. I think it was might have been their last title actually before they went under. So, this is cool. It's got a slip. It's it, if you like westerns, this is kind of like an oddball western, but it's it's still entertaining. I'm not going to say it's one of my favorite spaghetti westerns or anything, but it's still, like, a fairly entertaining movie. Might end up being in the top releases. If I, I can't remember all of them right now, but just a, just a fun little movie. Not something I expected from Cauldron. Packaging is really cool. As it always is. This one feels a little heavier, so I'm expecting a little bit more in here. Oh, it's got the soundtrack included with it. So you get the card with this track listing in there. Um, I mean, I, I know a lot of people could care less about the soundtrack, but... It's just a nice little added bonus. It's not like we paid more for this movie with the soundtrack than we would for one without. But. And the poster for this one. Also, it's just a slip, but this one actually, if you like the foreign language version, that's actually pretty cool. I think that one would look better on the wall, personally, but 
Still, I mean, it's good stuff. It's cool stuff. Cauldron has my support. I love the label. Absolutely love the label. If they started a subscription service like Vinegar Syndrome, I would be all in on that. Big, big fan. I wish they came out with more releases steadily throughout the year, but I'll take what I can get. It's fine. Don't don't skimp on quality to just pump out more stuff. But, yeah, Shanghai Joe and Convoy Busters. Really stoked to check. I might do a double feature right after this and watch both of these. So, we will see. But that is all I have for today. So, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. It came with a little, what is this, sticker? Oh, it's the... Shang, it's from Shanghai Joe. Oh, okay. Whatever. That's whatever. You know, like, that's a real little... Oh, well. Um, but, yeah, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. And until next time, have a good day.